let's see if we can okay. okay, thanks everyone for coming tonight. Um, I might not look it, but I'm pretty angry. Uh, my wife says you're quite a kind person for somebody that's very angry about a lot of things, but I am. I'm angry about austerity. I'm angry about the future that we're passing on to our children, and I've got two young children. And I'm angry about the state of the world, and we should be angry. A lot of us as Greens have quite a balanced life, balanced existence. We uh, try and spend time in our gardens or on the allotments. We try and spend time doing social campaigning that makes us feel as though we are contributing to society and is good for our well-being. And that's something that we're very good at. And sometimes on a personal level that means that we can go, yeah, actually, you know, I, I, my life is good, my, my life is happy. And uh, that's, that's where I am as a person. But there is this impending sense of economic and environmental catastrophe that's coming towards us. And no matter how happy I can be in a personal circumstance, I can be going out and doing the compost in the garden, I have that anger. I have that anger that this generation has betrayed future generations. And we need to do something about it. And we can't do enough about it by being on the margins of politics by getting 1% a general election or 9% a euro election. We need to be a bigger, more effective party and a more effective opposition than we are at the moment. So let me tell you a little bit about me and what I want to try and do for us as a party. I was brought up in Scotland. I had a Catholic father and a Protestant mother. That caused interesting dynamics in the family. That's what was considered as a mixed marriage back then. My <laughs> grandmother barely spoke to my mother for three years because she was an English Protestant, which was about as bad as you could get. But that's where my anti-racism and anti-sectarianism, the passion, comes from. That's why I get angry when I see racism. That's why I, why I get angry when we have to go up against the BNP and, yes, UK and their policies on immigration. There's 20 million people in Bangladesh at the moment who are displaced by floods. 20 million people. If every country in the world took a 1% share of that, that would mean we would be accepting in 200,000 immigrants from Bangladesh. If every country in the world took an equal percentage. Or if we took our share of the world's population, we'd be taking in 200,000 immigrants from Bangladesh as a result of that catastrophe. And climate change is getting worse, it's progressing. Arctic sea ice from summer of 1979 was 18,000 cubic kilometres, 18 ice cubes in the jug, is now down to last year in September, 4,000 cubic kilometres, just four ice cubes left in the summer. And that's how urgent this is. People say to me, all oh, right, well, you know, things have gone bad economically in the last few years. Yes, they have, but even if you go back to 2006, there was still 2.5 million unemployed. You still had poverty, you still had homelessness. In this country, which is the sixth richest country in the world, we still had poverty and homelessness. And that's when the economy was good. So I'm angry. But the way for us to do something about it is for us to broaden our appeal. For us to start to speak to the communities and the people that we haven't yet engaged with. Now, as somebody with a working class background, I feel I can play that role for the party. I feel I can be a voice that is new, that's distinctive, that complements the existing powerful voices that we've got out there. And I think I can speak the language of football, the language of the regions. And I think I can speak as someone who's had practical experience working as a social worker and as a further education lecturer in some of the most deprived communities in the North West. And I look forward to your questions. Thank you.